Hey guys, it's June 918 here, and in this video I'm going to show you how I make the ghillie hat that I wear on the field. I'm also going to show you how I attach the various materials to the concealment vest that you see me do. The techniques that you'll see me use in this, I'll also show you how you can attach it just to a jacket like this. You don't need to buy an expensive ghillie vest or ghillie hat or anything like that. The techniques to attach them are exactly the same. First I'm going to start with the materials, then I'll move on to showing you how to attach the materials to the actual vest. Right guys, like I said, we're going to talk about the materials used. First of all, we'll talk about the tools that you're going to need. All you're basically going to need in this is a simple pair of scissors with a nice sharp point on them. Next, you're going to need something to attach the ghillie to, or the materials, the camouflage materials to. I like to use the boonie hat for the hood, for the ghillie hat. Some, a lot of guys like to use the peaked cap. It's just really a hat that's comfortable for you because you are going to be wearing it a while through the day. Um, for the jackets, just use a, an old camouflage jacket, even a hoodie or and an old pair of trousers, it's simple enough, I don't have to sort of show them, I ain't got the room to show them. Next we're going to talk about the netting. Really, you're only really going to need this for the ghillie hat, but a lot of guys like to use it on the back of the, the jackets as well, because you can attach a lot of materials to it. All this is, is plastic chicken wire you can get from most garden centres. You'll get it for on a roll it's about a metre wide and you get it for about 150 so you'll get a good metre square for 150 that's probably about two dollars I'm guessing and it's good it's really strong tough you can cut it to shape you can attach it nice and easily move on to the way you're going to attach this same way you're going to attach the netting is the same way you're going to attach the materials uh, I will demonstrate this in a second all we're going to use is tie wraps you can use string but it has to be tough string if you can find dark string but tie wraps are great they're plastic once they're on you can snip them off and they're, they're easy there's no tying knots or anything like that straight on and snip the end off all right we'll move on to the materials that actual camouflage materials the basic one is burlap sandbag material again you'll get sandbags from builder merchants uh, building material shops and things like that they'll do sandbags for you that's the basic colour of the sandbag when it comes out, when you get when you buy it. What you then need to do is buy clothes dye. Nice dark green one and a nice dark brown one. And then that dye a few sandbags or even just one sandbag will be enough for a, a full suit. Dye your sandbags to that colour. What I have, so I have got here is the it's the threads out of the sandbags. I haven't actually got any of the brown ones. Um, again this is quite good because it's quite stringy like this and it's a just, just different sort of texture all you do to do that is you get your sandbag and you just pull them out simple as that sounds a bit tedious but it can be done really fast and you've got this whole different material the other material you can use is if you've got an old pair of combats, uh, combat trousers camouflage trousers shred it up cut it into shreds as you see this is an old pair of flecton trousers cut into shreds nice and heavy material so it hangs down like that so you can put it over your your forearms or just over your shoulders to break up the shape of it which is really good so next I'm going to move on to the way we attach this to the the hats and a concealment vest if you are lucky enough to have the money to get a concealment vest Right guys, now we're going to move on to attaching it to a concealment vest first. If you're lucky enough to have one of these. As you'll see, with the concealment vests, they've got many, many little holes in them. All you're going to do is have to thread the tie wrap through the hole like so. Attach the required materials. In this case, we'll use a little bit of this. it through the hole, tighten up your tie wrap, like so, take your pair of scissors and snip off the excess. In this case I'll snip that bit as well. Again, simple, give it a good pull, make sure it's all stuck on. 
that's it. It is that simple. What I will say is when you do this, don't do it inside out. Do it so this bit, the big bit from the tie wrap is on the outside. Because these can be very uncomfortable if you lie on them or lean on them. It doesn't make any odds, that's a tiny piece of plastic, you won't see it with it or once you've all gillied yourself up. Right, I'm just going to quickly show you the technique on how to put the materials onto either your hat, your jacket or a pair of trousers if you aren't. If you're not going to have a fancy ghillie suit or even if you're not going to attach the netting. All you're going to need for this one is your tie wraps and a piece of material to attach. Right guys, uh, this section I'm going to show you how to this section. Right guys, this part I'm going to show you how to attach it to either your trousers, your jacket or even just your hat if you're not going to have a netting attached or haven't got a Webtex vest or any sort of vest with any sort of netting on that you can, like you've seen last time, start again. Right guys, I'm going to show you how to attach it to your Right guys, I'm going to show you how to attach it to your trousers or your jacket or even your hat if you haven't got netting on it like you've seen on the, the vest you've seen a second ago. Again, all you're going to need for this is a pair of scissors. It's really simple. Just edge it up like that. Two wee tiny... It's hard to do because... Two wee tiny nooks like that. About a centimetre apart. Just like that. Just like that. And then that's it. I don't understand where I'm going with this now. Tie wrap through. Nice and strong hold for it. Material in. Tie wrap do it. Tie wrap up. Snip the tie wrap off. Do it quick. Well. Display it out because it's been wrapped up. And there you have it. Simple as that. Again, keeping this knobbly bit on the outside, especially because this is the back of a pair of trousers. You don't want to be sitting on that, especially when you're trying to sneak up on someone. Right guys, I hope this video helped you a bit understand how I, I do the ghillie hat and how the ghillie works and, and hopefully a bit useful for saves you buying all the expensive ghillie stuff and things like that, understand that you don't really need all that on the field. Uh, again, thanks for all the support as always. Any comments, just leave them below. Um, please check out my channel. Thanks again.